I'm Max. I'm Max. And I'm Ethan. We're going to teach you the greatest common factors for, for the ladder method. Okay. Well, you can divide by 2, 3, 5, and 7, and 11. And so, 6 divided by 2 is um, 18, I think. Divided by 2, 9, 3, and then... One. And then you always have to do like start with the lowest number. So that, that. And then you have to see what they have in common. So two and three. And then you just times them and two times three is six. And that's how you do Okay, um, on the first one, 16 divided by 2 equals 8. 8 divided by 2 equals 14. And 4, I mean 4, and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And then 56 divided by 2 equals 28. 28 divided by 2 equals 14. 14 divided by 2 equals 7. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. 64 divided by 2 equals 32. 32 divided by 2 equals um, 16. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. And 2 divided by 2 equals one. So we circle this one, this one, and this one, this one, this one, and this one, this one, this one, and this one, because those are the only, oh, and this one, and this one. You can't do that because there's no, yeah, oh yeah, there's... I forgot. You have to have three of them to get one, so two, times two times two equals eight. I have sixteen and thirty. You do sixteen divide by two, which is eight. Then you do eight divide by two, which is four. Then four divide by two is two. Then you can only do two divide by two, which is one. Then thirty. Thirty divided by two is um And 15 divided by 2 is... You can't do that. What? You can't do that. So, 15 divided by 3 is... 15 divided by 3 is... 15 divided by 3 is 5. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. And then, that's the method. Okay.